Hey there folks, good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh, 1.30 here right now in Dhaka. I plan to do something very special, which is to me, basically. I don't know how special this line is to you, but Hugo Boss Bottle is one line I just absolutely love. And I did this video sort of like one year back, but I talked about like the line talk, right? The Boss Bottle line. Since then, I got two more to the collection and I think we have 10 here. Uh, so I want to rank them today. That's the basic idea. And Hugo Boss Bottle, why this is special? Because I started off my journey with this fragrance, Boss Bottle, original one. So I sort of like rank them from 10 all the way to 1 based on my preference in terms of the smell, not performance, uh, not uh, projection and all that. For me, the smell is the most important thing. So this is my choice, okay? You are perhaps familiar with some of them, some of them are not, and I don't own everything. Some of them I wish I had, but you know, whatever I have, limited resources, I'm trying to put them according to my liking so my scent of the late night or early morning is this fragrance lemon dolce or dolce uh, this is from happy shepherd line okay um, this is i think market towards women but one of the best lemon based scent with a lot of florals i just like it it's just uplifting long lasting it's like candied lemon for those who like lemon based perfumes it's for you and the thing is if you're wondering if it's kind of cold here not really we haven't got that much cold weather yet and already half of November is gone. I guess uh, climate change is basically taking place and perhaps we will not see any cold weather that much this year in Bangladesh, which is going to be sad, but that's another day's discussion. So I made myself, uh, I was not well early morning yesterday. Let me tell you a little bit before I start. Uh, every weekend, Friday, I go to this bazaar sort of uh, in a place called Mirpur where, where they have a lot of birds, pets, they bring. And then, you know, you get to see them. It's not always about buying. You can see them. I always go and end up buying some bird or something like that but it's always like early morning you have to go 7 a.m you know i take uber and go there very remote sort of like a difficult place to go to cannot drive there so um since i got back i got a little bit unwell so i slept through the day so i woke up uh you know even after late night i woke up so i made myself some coffee so i just took a little bit of time so i'm speaking slow that's why i'm explaining what's happening so let's start uh number 10 this fragrance I praised a lot. I gave it very high mark and I said this is one of the best beast mode. This is the longest lasting in this list, I think. But today ended up number 10 because I'm going with the smell. There's nothing wrong with the fragrance. This is their Oud line and this is called Boss Bottle Oud Aromatic. Um, this one I bought from one brother. This is more expensive line, like more upper class line of Boss Bottle. And this cost like $75, $85. Depends on where you live. Even more, sometimes less. But... Uh, just give me one quick second. Sorry, I heard, I thought I heard something outside, like uh, nobody's home, my parents are away for holidays. So um, I thought I heard someone, you know, like inside the house, I got kind of like freaked out. <laughs> Sorry about that. So coming back to this, no one's there, by the way. So uh, this one is the green bottle. They also have Oud Saffron. I think they released one more. I'm not sure about that, but I did review Oud Saffron, but never owned it. That one is fantastic. This one, there's something about it. There's an orange blossom. There's some animalic notes and it's kind of like floral there are a lot of things going on in here we got oud in there so basically it goes middle eastern style you know it's a very niche style dark perfume and many people like this mind you you're gonna like it but it's a very daring perfume like gucci guilty absolute that direction it goes to so if you do enjoy kind of like those description i gave you give it a try uh, one of the longest lasting fragrances from house of hugo boss or uh, some reviewers say hugo boss i'm not sure hugo boss so i say hugo boss sounds cool okay so oud aromatic from House of uh, Boss, Boss Bottle line. Uh, this is my number 10. Number nine is the fragrance I got, I think, uh, and one more perhaps. I think, no, these are the two I got uh, after, since I did the first or last video. Next one is a discontinued gem, Boss Bottles Poured. Uh, this fragrance, I do use it a lot, okay? The reason being, as you can see from transparent bottle, this is basically a summer through and through bottle. This kind of perfumes you just, cannot expect like beastly projection and longevity and it's a sporty perfume to say the least it got this kind of like a grapefruit slash uh, perhaps a ginger or something like a tonic water you know if you like those kind of fragrances it's kind of like a cooling gym sort of fragrance you just put it in gym bag you just go and it, it has that sort of a sporty outlook to it and i really like this bottle it's kind of cool so these are very hard to find price is gonna be a little bit more than usual but I would say this is a good fragrance, okay? This is a good fragrance for people who want to get something like Diorome Sport. This is the closest thing you get. I find it very similar to Diorome Sport. So you can give it a try. Number nine is Boss Bottle Sport. 
check out my full on review on each you'll get like a nice idea right so someone's messaging me yeah hold on i really do apologize it's very rude of me that you know I, this is not the way to do reviews but i sometimes get important messages so i keep my phone on uh ringer mode or sound mode anyway number eight i'm gonna go i have i think four 200 ml bottles of these i absolutely love big bottles of boss uh, line boss bottle line the number eight is boss bottle night this fragrance is so underrated nobody talks about it this is a very very good performer i think after the wood uh, aromatic this is the singer best performer it's absolutely uh, projecting beast in the colder months i love wearing this this is uh, basically violet leaves you know it's kind of like spicy and I, I do not remember all the notes but basically violet leaves play a huge role in this kind of maybe musky i, I don't know if there's a key note spicy woody fragrance okay so what you're gonna get from this it's not much citrus or sweetness it's like a you know like some sort of uh i don't know like birch or maybe birch wood or something like that if you like woody spicy like uh, something like gucci purom one or bentley for men absolute these are kind of fragrance you definitely should look at and it will project a lot it's a very sexy fragrance if you can pull it off but it has a little bit of mature vibe okay so i'm not putting it higher up in the order because it's not really safe but it's such a good fragrance if you're just looking for a good performer from Boss Bottle line. Something to wear in during winter time, night time, Boss Bottle, night. Underrated fragrance, not everybody talks about it. Okay, number seven, another 200 ml bottle. I love the juice color, I must admit. The fragrance I wish pushed a little bit harder. This one has a little bit of performance issue, okay? I do not get more than three hours from this, but I like their smell. The Most of the Boss Bottle have this common note of apples, okay? Either golden apple or green apple. This one I get kind of like a green apple and some aquatic oceanic note and it's kind of like a breezy perfume i think this is called boss bottle tonic okay really nice i told you like blue anything blue looks nice and it's a transparent bottle i really find this bottle very amazing so why i got a big bottle because i got better value if you buy a bigger bottle you get better value and this fragrance you need to spray a lot and the reason if i spray like 16 times i'm not gonna harm anybody okay so versace purum imagine like that kind of a performance but it's a nice little smell it's just so uh, fresh on the sunny sunny days if you go by the beach you know imagine something uh, let's say ozonic this is what comes to my mind okay just trying to remind myself oh yeah it's just got the sweetness of the apple like this is a marine version blue version of boss bottle exact same dna just blue okay so you can wear this like autumn time you know uh, daytime date very beautiful perfume so boss bottle tonic that's number seven Number six, then we hit top five, which are heavy eaters. Number six is one of my favorite perfumes. I got lucky. My older bottle got finished. You know, I never repurchased because uh, this fragrance basically was reformulated. Okay. And how I know this, I tried the newer batches. They don't last as much as the older batches. So I got like 2015 or 14. I forgot the exact year batch, but I have another bottle which has 10, 20 ml left, but I recently got lucky. 185 ml out of 200 partial I got. So this is called boss bottle i think unlimited one of the first fragrance i bought when i got here started buying collecting um the fragrance basically at first seemed like a mm, little bit not my type this is more like lacoste uh purom sorry lacoste white lacoste blanc or blanche but in time you know i started noticing this one performs really beastly on me like seven eight hours okay so for a fresh fragrance with this uh, kind of white blanche style uh with the notes like green apple pineapple lemon uh, i think this one has a lot more notes but those are the major notes and it's really really beautiful like it's very fruity it's kind of like a silver mountain water ish but no uh, metallic note so i get all those vibes you know like a, a very fruity uh, pleasant experience casual wear youthful and i really find this fragrance worth the money if you can find the older batches so number six is uh, boss bottle unlimited one of the best summer perfumes from this house so we're gonna do uh, number five. I recently got a backup bottle of it because the older bottle almost got finished, about 20 ml left. And I love this perfume. I wish I had like a 200 ml of this. I really like this fragrance. This is called Boss Bottle Infinite, okay? Uh, Boss, Hugo Bosses Infinite. One other thing I forgot to mention, all this bottle looks so classy. You'll recognize this immediately. Like these are Boss Bottle. Like their bottles are so simple yet elegant. I love the way the big Boss is always engraved on the bottle. And the juice color on this is really really nice this is much darker blue compared to let's say the tonic or something it has much darker blue okay so this is not an aquatic this is a sweeter 
I don't know how to define this. This is a very beautiful, unique note of uh, olive tree in there, which I find very unique. Uh, this is sweet, fresh, strong, long lasting, and a little bit different. Okay. Uh, how different? <laughs> Maybe he, there's a hint of green somewhere there. Okay. But the fragrance is not really a marine like or too much of sweetness. It's just the right balance and really good performance. So I think this is the. Um, I mean, I would say in terms of freshness, like if for summer days, I would like to wear this. Even all year round, you can wear it as a signature scent for office. It's really sophisticated and very beautiful smell. Boss Bottle Infinite. Take a look at this one. Solid fragrance, solid performer. Number four, I picked. Uh, this is very high up in the order because I love this DNA. It smells very different from the whole line. Okay, this is called Boss Bottle EDP. Okay, we have one more EDP coming, but not the same, different fragrance, okay? This one got that, I don't know, copper color or maroon or I don't know, what color is this? Don't know, um, this is just a very unique color. This is copper color, like really nice color on the cap. And the caps are not really heavy, metallic is just plastic. I wish they made a bit heavier cap that would make very interesting and premium feel. Sometimes they do release Boss Bottle line, like a limited edition, those are not considered. I have mostly all the major ones in my collection. This one right here, I get kind of like a nutty feel, you know, like uh, how to say it has apples, it has freshness, but sometimes I get uh, kind of like a sweetness that you get like Gyalan low medial line, you know, it's comparable, comparable to those if you want to know, but it's not the same smell. And the fragrance smells familiar at the same time, you cannot like, like you say, oh, this is a clone of that or anything. This fragrance is a fragrance on its own. Absolutely love it. I think this will be good for transition time between summer to winter, like fall. This will be great fragrance. I think this has got some leather or some chocolatey vibes. I don't know, but it's got good uh, backbone to it. So the dry down is very nice. This is called Boss Bottle EDP. Highly recommended by me. Very good performer. Number three is the other wood that I really love. This is the wood I love. I used to have a sample in 2016, no, 2014 or 15. And I never bought a bottle because I found it a little bit underperforming. But in time, colder months, it performs really well and I love the way it smells. This one is the darkest of the line. Not darkest, I would say. This is the dark Boss Bottle. This is called Boss Bottle Oud, okay? This is what started the Oud trend in Boss Bottle line. This fragrance got the spicy apple cinnamon, like some of the other ones also got cinnamon, but this is the cinnamon is so prominent. And I also get hint of cardamom in this, which I also find in this one, I think perhaps. They also have cardamom, the Boss Bottle ADP. Uh, I don't know about the other ones, but this one definitely I get a hint of like combination of spices. So the thing is, if you like Versace with Noir, if you like YSL M7 Oud Absolute, this is going to be right up your alley and one of the best designer Oud easily. They do claim they use real Oud in this, but I'm not sure about that. But I'll tell you one thing for winter. This is kind of like more expensive Boss bottle, which you can own with the premium vibe. And you, if people can smell you, they'll give you compliments because this smells like a Boss man. Okay, Boss bottle Oud, my number three. Number two and number one, almost the same fragrance, okay? The second one, it's going to be surprising for you because you imagine this would be number one. No, to me, this is number two. This is Boss Bottle EDP Intense, okay? There was a rumor of this being discontinued. I think EDT Intense and EDP Intense both are discontinued. I never bought EDT Intense. I have EDP Intense. Um, yesterday, I, I think my older bottle almost finished, you know? So I have this like for about a month as a backup. Uh, this is a darker juice compared to the original Boss bottle. And this is like a more stronger version. I think this added leather in there with the cinnamon apple. It just smells a little bit darker compared to Boss bottle. Less fresh, more sweet, more spicy. And it's just eight hours, 10 hours, beast mode, longevity. So if you ask me, practically speaking, this is the number one today, practically speaking. But I kept my place for emotion for number one, okay? Which is why this is number two. And you guys already know what that's gonna be. So Boss Bowl EDP, intense. This is my number two. Get it while you can. Price are really rising on this. Number one, sentiments always win. Boss Bottle, okay? Boss number six, Boss Bottle. However you say it, I just always am happy nowadays. I got a 200ml massive bottle, okay? Uh, the reason being, I never owned a 200ml, okay? When I started my journey, my dad used to have this fragrance and he had at first like 50, then 100, 200. And I used to steal like sprays from him when he used to go out in work for work. And uh, he, he's a professor, so he's always smelling nice. He, fragrance lasts longer on him. So he used to have Oak Armani Score, this one. I think he used to have uh, Chanel Edition Blanche, Dolce & Gabbana, the one. So, you know, I could not afford to buy all those fragrances. But one 
birthday i got a few 30 small ml for uh, as a birthday gift alongside in other stuff and i absolutely cherished it you know just fell in love with this dna and i know this fragrance for a long time so that's what the sentiments you know i am attached to this perfume this one holds more value to me than any aventus any niche perfume this is what fragrance fragrance game is all about so number one i would say it's a must have if you are a collector you have to try if you like ysl loam you can give it a try similar sort of apples but that one is a little bit less performing this is more sparkly apple citrus cinnamon and it just uh, projects a lot and longevity is like three to four hours but absolute love i got compliments with this all my life okay boss bottle number one today so that's my ranking of 10 boss bottles that i own i own exactly 10 do let me know which ones do you like and which what are your number one or two and which one i should get next take care thanks for watching love you all bye bye